about the intestinal enzymes and function of enzymes in our body. So, don't forget to watch this video till end. Before starting the lecture, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel so you can get my latest videos. So, let's go to the screen. So today's topic is characteristics of enzymes. I make the heading about the, the characteristics of enzymes so you easily understand the topic. So first is history. The first heading is history that who uh, and when enzymes was discovered. In 1878, German biologist William Cuny first introduced the term enzymes. This is the man William Cuny who ger is the German physiologist who uh, introduced the term enzymes in 1878 there's a very important MCQ and this uh, there's a long question this is characteristic of enzyme is long question and this is very important long question so next thing is structure that uh, structure of enzymes enzymes are globular protein in a uh, previous lecture uh, we studied that enzyme uh, I tell that uh, we study about in our, in our next lecture about the structure of enzymes enzymes are globular protein like all proteins are enzymes but all pro, uh, enzymes are not protein all pro, uh, like all proteins uh, or ma enzymes are made up of long linear chain of amino acid enzymes are made up of long linear chain of amino acid that fold to produce a three dimensional molecule enzymes make the three dimensional molecules it is made up of long linear amino acid there is mcq that enzymes is made up of which um, acid enzymes which are uh, made up of amino acid so this is the heading that about the structure so the next heading is nature what is the nature of enzymes uh, i tell that the all enzymes are protein but uh, all protein are no en enzymes i am going again re uh, repeating because there is a very important line that all uh, enzymes are protein but all protein are not enzymes they are made up of amino acid i tell uh, before that uh, all pro uh, enzymes are made up of amino acid long linear chain of amino acid this is the nature of enzyme. The next is specificity or speed of enzymes. Most enzymes reaction rates are million times more faster than those of comparable uncatalyzed reaction. In previous lecture we studied that uh, uh, the enzymes are biocatalysts that makes the chemical reaction more faster than uncatalyzed reaction. As with all catalysts, enzymes are not consumed by the reaction that catalyze. This is the speed that, by the help of biocatalyst uh, enzymes, uh, the uh, reaction make million time more faster than those comparable reaction that are uncatalyzed reaction that are uncatalyzed. They are not biocatalyzed. So this is the speed of enzymes. So the next heading is specificity of enzymes. Enzymes are usually very specific. In our lecture, uh, lecture uh, in our next lecture, we study that uh, there are two uh, models that describe the specific. Uh, first model describes the specificity of enzymes that lock and key model. The second one is induced and split model. The so very important uh, models. But as uh, enzyme, uh, we today we study about the specificity of enzymes. So enzymes are very usually very specific for the type of reaction that, for example, if uh, uh, one enzyme is uh, uh, is for uh, for for lip for example lipase is for only the uh, lipase only digest the lipids and protein only digest protease only digest protein and amylase only digest uh, starch so this is the uh, specific enzymes that uh, only digest specific uh, mm, for specific uh, products like uh, lipids only digest lipids uh, not uh, if we uh, lipids or not digest uh, proteins uh, Pro, uh, protease not digest lipids so protein uh, protease only digest protein the, so this is the specificity of enzymes so this is active site this is enzymes and this is substrate uh, what is active site where the substrate act this is the small portion where the enzyme and substrate combine so this site this uh, site is called active site uh, clear that uh, this site is called active site. Only a small portion of enzymes molecule is directly involved in catalyst. This is involved in catalyst that uh, make the substrate uh, converted into product. This catalyst region is called active site. It recognizes and binds substrate and can carry out reaction. So this is the active site. So the next is 
additional work. So the next is additional work. That some enzymes, not all enzymes, some enzymes do not any um, additional component to work to do work. However, other required non-protein molecules or ion called cofactor. As you can see the diagram, these are enzymes. This is an enzyme. This is enzymes, and this is coenzymes. The enzymes need cofactor to make the substrate and convert to product. So this is the coenzymes that uh, cofactor that if uh, lipase want to pro digest pro prote uh, protein, so it uh, take coenzymes that digest protein. Uh, so uh, by this they uh, digest protein. So this is the example of cofactor. Cofactor can be either organic or inorganic. Uh, there's a two type of uh, cofactor. First is organic or second is inorganic. Uh, inorganic mean uh, metal zyn and organic meals flavin and heme if organic cofactor if organic cofactor tightly bound to the enzymes then this cofactor is called post uh, prosthelytic group if organic cofactor are tightly bound to the enzymes then the enzymes uh, then the cofactor is called prosthetic group if or, uh, organic cofactor is loosely bound to the enzymes then this cofactor is called uh, coenzymes I again repeat this, if organic cofactor are loosely bound with the enzymes then they are called coenzymes. Coenzymes transfer chemical group from one enzyme to another enzyme for example this, uh, okay, I take the example of coenzyme that if lipids want to digest protein so they want uh, protease uh, coenzymes to digest protein. So this is the coenzymes that coenzymes transport chemical groups for one enzyme to another enzyme. Some important uh, vitamins are ribavirin, thiamine, and folic acid act as coenzymes. These are the uh, uh, proteins, uh, vitamins that act as coenzymes. These are attached loosely attached to uh, enzymes uh, uh, to digest any uh, material. So this is these are the examples of coenzymes. So this this is the additional work. The last heading is. This is the uh, example of organic cofactor that uh, uh, I, t I tell that the, there are two types of cofactor. First in inorganic, so second is organic. So this is the organic cofactor. When the enzymes are tightly bound, they are called prosthetic group. When the enzymes are loosely bound, they are called coenzymes. So this is the example of organic cofactor. So this is the additional work. The next is metabolic pathway. That Several enzymes can work together in a specific order. For example, some en enzymes work on our oral cavity, some enzymes work on our oesophagus, some enzymes work on our stomach, and some enzymes work on our small intestine. So this is a metabolic pathway that several enzymes can work together in a specific order, creating a metabolic pathway. In metabolic pathway, one enzyme takes the product of other enzymes as a substrate. For example, if uh, uh, my stomach uh, take the food of uh, th that make product by the uh, amylase that represent in our um, oral cavity. So when uh, amylase take the substrate, they make it product, and this product goes to our stomach, and stomach may take this uh, stomach. The stomach enzymes of stomach take uh, this as substrate. So this is the metabolic pathway. After this reaction, the produce product is passes on the next enzymes. After stomach, the product is passed to the next enzyme, so the next enzyme is taken as substrate. So this is the metabolic pathway through the uh, several enzymes do their work together in a specific order. So this is the metabolic pathway. That's all. After this, that is finished. If you like our video,